back when I was 18, I moved to Australia um, inland of a place called Mackay, which is on the northeast coast of Australia. And um, basically, long story short, I went to go try and get a job in the mines, and it didn't happen because that was 2008, and that was the year of the recession. And uh, some kind people decided that they would take me on, so I went out to um, their farm. And the people were very nice to me, I just want to make that clear, but it's what they do to the animals, which is what I find now disgusting and really, really um, unfortunate. So most of the work was just fencing, fixing fences and stuff like that, which was all good and I was perfectly fine with. And then um, the day came that we went out to go and do another job and the job involved um, bringing not baby cows, but like mid-sized ones, I think they're called heifers or something like that, I can't remember. And they had, they'd been all kind of herded up into a paddock and then they were getting put through into like this chute thing. And they come through to the chute and like a brace thing goes around their neck so that they can't move and holds them against it. And from there, three things happen. I can't remember if there's any more, but the ones that stood out to me, uh, which I'll share right now, one, their horns got cut off, so just boom, cut the horns off. Um, that was full on, like to me, I did not expect that. And like shit you see in the movies with the blood splurting, that was actually happening in front of me, so that was very full on. And they could see that I wasn't happy with that. I was, I was, I guess you could call it traumatized by seeing that in the flesh. Um, and then they'd spray stuff on it. Um, the other two things that would happen was that they got branded, so um, because they couldn't move, they just put them straight in there and the cows would like fart uncontrollably, you know, because obviously they're going through so much pain. Again, I didn't like watching that at all. And they could see that, so and they said, you know, just step back, we'll do it, and you can just watch. And the third thing was that the boys got these rubber bands put around their nuts, and any guys that are watching this will cringe at the thought of hearing that. Um, so yeah, the idea is that they put this rubber band on and the rubber band's so tight that it squeezes, squeezes and then they eventually drop off. So that was the way that they, I guess, didn't cause infection, that sort of thing. So the idea is that it's like, just put on and it's done, like job done. So three very full on things if you're not used to seeing shit like that done to animals, um, which I wasn't. It wasn't, it wasn't cool, it wasn't a fun day. It's one day that I'll never forget. Um, another thing was, another day, we, or other days that I was there actually, um, one of the younger relatives came and stayed on the farm. And he was a little bit younger than me, I was 18 at the time, and um, he was a little bit younger. And they had some guns and stuff, so they had a 22 a shotgun, some other things. And I like, vaguely was interested in guns, so I had a little go at them or go with them, um, didn't point it at any animals for that matter, just want to state that, make that clear, never shot anything. Um, but they were, I would go out with them and they would shoot kangaroos, uh, not for any good reason, just because, because they, well, the, the moral justification for them doing so was that the kangaroos knocked over fences because they bounce over them and stuff like that, which then let the calves or the cows go places that they shouldn't. Uh, so they would shoot them with uh, a 22, and that's not even a very powerful gun, so a lot of them didn't die straight away, which was sad to see. I mean, again, I didn't like watching this, didn't want, really want to even participate in being there, but I kind of did because I was young and I was like, oh, you know, it's, it's what you do, you just like go along with it, and now it's a different story because I'm older and I reckon I'm wiser and I just wouldn't tolerate that shit, I wouldn't even be there just walk away and don't have any participation in it at whatsoever. Um, the guy who was shooting them as well, he would often, well he would always walk over and check if they had a little baby as well and then he would just kill the baby as well because obviously the baby's not going to survive um, without its mother. So even more sad shit, completely unnecessary in my opinion. Um, knocking down fences which imprison cows and don't get me wrong, cows to, uh, sorry, fences to control livestock is a good idea until we can come to some sort of solution with this but um, a lame excuse to just go and kill kangaroos and you know what surprises me is that people go to zoos and they you know oh it's fluffy furry kangaroos that's cool but then 
Australians, so just out there killing them, you know. And um, I can't speak for the rest of the Australians, but the ones that I were, they're just like, boom, just no worries, don't care, you know. If it's like the national symbol, doesn't matter. And third thing that really um, struck me was that the farmer who I was working with, um, they have working dogs, so you know, like border collies and stuff like that, and they were all in little cages. And when I mean little, I mean you could fit two dogs in there, and that's it. Like, not enough to turn around, but not much bigger than that at all. And that's, I'm pretty sure, what they spent the majority of their lives in. Like, I was there for a month, and they would go out to work and come back, and they would pretty much sit in their own shit because they couldn't go anywhere because they're in a cage. And I went out, and you know, like, I, I thought I had a little bit of compassion. I mean, I still do. And I would like go and see them, you know, have a little, just pretty much go and see them because what else can you do? We weren't allowed to let them out and stuff like that. And then, I don't know how we got to the subject, but um, he said that when they're old, he just takes them out the back, chains them to a tree and shoots them. So what a shit life for the working dogs, you know, work all day, come back, stay in your little prison. And then when your time's up, out the back, boom, done. So yeah, again, something that I'll never forget him saying that to me and uh, me just going, what the fuck, you know, like, doesn't seem right, still doesn't seem right, will never seem right to me, but that's what is done, or well, that was what was done at that farm, so, sad stuff. So that was my time on the cattle farm, um, yeah, as I said, the people were nice to me and I got nothing against the people, I just strongly feel that this, what they do to the animals is very, very wrong. And, you know, I witnessed some of the things that happen and I can say that I've been there so it's not just me saying or spouting what I've heard from other people. Um, it's the truth. The animals do go through a lot of shit that you don't realise and if you think it's all like, you know, the animals get treated greatly and stuff like that, you're in some fucked up delusional world because it's definitely not the case. So, yeah, please consider going vegan.